So yesterday I think I made a video about why, how NVIDIA has open source and finally open source their kernel module drivers which are basically the KO object files that are inserted into your kernel space and that run on top of your kernel and uh, act as an extension to provide some necessary things like connectivity to your graphics graphics card and, and and utilize your graphics card for example now and there are some limitations that i talked about in the last video if you haven't checked it out that nvidia has not for for instance nvidia has not really open source their user land applications nor nvidia has um, shown what exactly each commits do so if you look at the commit number there are only 11 commits for a huge project uh, such as uh, the kernel module uh, nvidia drivers now if you take a look at the commit history um let me it doesn't let me if we take a look at the commit history uh, on May 10, 2022, there was just a single commit that is the 5515 well, driver. So the entire thing, the entire uh, project has been pushed in a single commit. And this is not exactly showing of what uh, where the bugs before the commits were made in between commits and how the bugs were fixed and we have to take a look at the entire source code now to to, to actually spot if it has any bugs or any vulnerabilities anyway so for educational purposes i was trying to take a look at how they make how the build system works for NVIDIA now if you open up a terminal and clone the gate repo NVIDIA came out 1 actually I did it in came out so as you can see the 515 and there was a troll face <laughs> oh, what what the fuck there was a troll troll face emoji inserted into the second commit anyway so if you go into the kernel open on source for example if you And you can see the directory, source directories for the drivers that we need. For example, the NVIDIA KO, NVIDIA DRM KO. So NVIDIA KO would look something like this. So if you look at the make file inside this directory, it uses a kbuild file. So, if you go into, for example, for, for instance, NVIDIA and NVIDIA KO. This is the NVIDIA sources K build. So these are the NVIDIA sources uh, that we need to compile to get the NVIDIA old NVIDIA object file. So let's quickly do that. But how do you do that exactly? Now the make file is structured in a way that if you take a look at it. Uh, if you take a look at the original make file so this is the parameters that go 
into for example let's say we our default target is modules and instead of doing that if you say echo this and we comment out this is what is executed now since I've created a bin variable that we need to do to NVIDIA you can see that in vkernel modules NVIDIA is assigned to NVIDIA if you want to you do multiple let's for example say that you want to do DRM you can do that and let's for example how it works is when you say NVIDIA it has to match the source tree of source tree uh, that contains the NVIDIA directory that contains the source codes now let's create a, a directory test and let's not do this as you can see that it complains that there is no test.k build now let's create a test.k build real quick test.org and now let's see make modules Huh. You need to have K. So, for example, in the make file, so we create a dummy object file that is test code. So, touch test test.c and we compile. We have undefined main reference domain. Of course, we have, but still, we do that. Is co and okay, so this is the dependency. So you basically see it's going into the test directory and compile and linking the test object file. So let's delete all of this bullshit now and let's focus on. Now let's say if you want to build the NVIDIA. Now what I've changed in the make file is this following here right now. As you can see I've created the I found I've tried to find a name that it, that suits uh, the target. So I've, this is the best I've come up with that is test which I use for all of my uh, all of my targets that I need to do prototyping quickly anyway so this is what I did to link the compiled stuff in compiled object uh, into our NVIDIA directory that we are gonna work with and we have created the wildcard and bin which is the variable we need to set and I'm gonna explain I'm not gonna explain the other things because you might 
take a look at it if you want. It's definitely a stupid idea, but who knows. So first, we're gonna do make modules bin equals NVIDIA. And you can see it's NVIDIA KO. All right. Cool. So, as you can see, it's not. Mm, I'm gonna create you're gonna delete the confest make so I'm gonna uh, uh, I'm trying to take I'm trying to demonstrate how it's gonna look on the base freshly cloned repo since I've done some work on it beforehand recording this video so it is some somewhat behaving in a different way but now it should work as uh, similarly as possible to the base repository it's preparing the contests and now we should compile our source of source files that are written in C and we should come uh, we should uh, we should come we should come to see that there is a problem that there is no rule to build the NV kernel because the NV kernel dot does not really exist so the solution that I have seen so what do we need to do this is the problem that most of you who is not gonna modify the make file are gonna see and who don't know the build system of Nvidia that structured so shittily and weirdly so I make I created an issue on this official repo and they were run nice enough to re respond and actually provide a solution that it is expected behavior and I'm doing it wrong and first you need to compile you need to set up first you need to set up DNV more kernel O binary before we do this so I've created a target rule for in the make file that is going to do the same thing and I've created the name the best name I could possibly find which is test so test bin NVIDIA J16 and it should actually do what do you want it to do da, da, da. All right, so make modules bin NVIDIA and we have built our NVIDIA KO modules now clean make clean KO and test clean bin NVIDIA is definitely a dependency so NVIDIA has been done now what about now we can do everything uh, we can even do without our dependencies of the NV kernels the you can build DRM and it builds just fine Sorry for the background noise. 
I can't do anything about it. I don't have any control over it. Now we get an undefined terror. And this is a shitty thing. Anyway, so we have DRM.O, but we don't have DRM.ko, the kernel object file, because let's see if we can if this protocol actually works. Now we need to create a flag. We don't have, we cannot do this, okay. So this is the problem that I'm currently stuck with. There's something shitty, messy going on here. We need to clear everything. Because we can see, okay, I'm not gonna show, uh, it's gonna take a long time. So, you might probably have an idea on what's going on. And thank you for actually responding and showing how the structure is so shitty and it's so hard to understand, but I can appreciate it. So, that's basically it. Um, that's how we build the kernel modules and if you don't in fact in case know how the kernel modules come into practice <coughs> excuse me so here we can see the nvidia nvidia mod set and nvidia drivers these are the driver uh, this is um, I'm I'm using proprietary drivers for now. I'll definitely modify the source code and the build files to actually see how it works. So I'm not risking using it. So for now, that's about it. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. So I guess.